Hello, cool cats. Today we're going to continue working on place value, but we're going to use a digital wreck and wreck. Now, if you look at the screen, you will see my very favorite math tool, the wreck and wreck. This is a 20 bead wreck and wreck. Um, and you've used these before in the classroom. You've also used my 100 bead wreck and wreck. Well, if you remember, the way that this tool works is we have some red and white beads. I want you to think for just a moment. If I slide all the beads of one row over, what number is represented right here? How many beads are there? That's right, there's 10. So that makes this a very awesome tool for learning about place value using the base 10 system. What we're able to do is think about our team numbers, first of all, and we can think about them as being 10 and some more. And then we can turn those thoughts of 10 and some more into addition problems for those teen numbers. So right now, looking at the screen, since I have this whole row of 10 beads, moved to the left. This represents 10 and no more. So I'm going to get my pen and show you what that looks like if I write a math equation. It looks like this. 10 plus 0 equals 10. Okay, so think about that. I've got 10 beads. I haven't slid any over on my second row, so that's why I have a zero here. 10 and zero, or 10 plus zero, equals a total of 10 beads. Okay, now let me wipe that. And let's think about what this looks like if I add some more beads. Now. From this next row, I'm going to slide just one of my beads over, okay? Now, I want you to think about what number is represented by the beads that are moved to the left side of my wreck and wreck, okay? What number are you thinking as a total? 11, that's right. Let me get my pen. Now, I want to write an equation that represents this model. So, I'm going to think about my beads on the top row, I have 10 that I've moved, plus how many beads are on my bottom row over here? Just one. So if I write an equation, it's going to look like this. 10 for this row, plus one more, just this one, equals a total of how many beads? 11. So 10 plus 1 equals 11 because 11 is 10 and one more. Okay, I've got one 10, I've got one 1 down here. All right, let's erase. Now, just for fun, I'm going to take this one bead by itself and I'm going to slide it back over here. The reason why we have the red and white beads on a wreck and wreck is because it helps us to subitize. It helps us to think about our numbers in chunks. So if I slide all of my red ones over, how many reds do I have just in this group? Five, that's right. See, if I slide all the reds and all the whites on a row over, it's a 10. If I slide just all of the reds, it's a five, okay? So we've got 10 beads on this row. We've got five beads on this row. Now let's think about what a number sentence is going to look like, okay? How many tens do we have? Just one. So I'm gonna write 10 plus, how many ones are on this next row? Five, that's right. So the number I'm showing here has one ten, five ones. It's ten and five more, or ten plus five. What does that equal in total? 
how many beads are over here? 15. Yep, 10 plus five equals 15, or 10 and five more equals 15. Good job. Now, let me erase, and let's do one more of these together. Okay, oops, get my arrow. I'm gonna slide a few more white ones over here. I want you to look for just a minute. We haven't changed the number of beads on our top row, but I have changed the second row, so these are gonna be the ones. Think about how many tens, how many ones are in this model. Okay, how many tens? Just one, so I'm gonna put a 10 up here. Plus, how many ones, how many beads are on this next row? I think we've got all of the reds, which is five, and three more, so five, six, seven, eight. Eight on that row, so 10 and eight more, or 10 plus eight. And what is that gonna equal for a team number? 18. You are so smart. Very nice, very nice. All right, cool cats. So that's some fun with our wreck and wreck. Let me show you what I'm gonna have you work on with your boom cards today. Do, do, do. It's got me signed out for some strange reason. Here we go. <laughs> Sometimes I think I have it already and then I realize something went wrong and I don't. Nope, I don't wanna talk with Rebecca. I wanna go find the deck for today. There it is. <laughs> Fun with technology. Come on now, let us take a look. <laughs> Truly, it lets me preview and it's the best thing because then I can show you what it is that you're gonna get to do, but it just won't go. It was there earlier. Let me try one more thing. Here we go. We will go to our full size preview. There we are. This is what your boom cards are gonna look like today, friends. Um, you're gonna get a slide that looks like this and it says, what number does the wreck and wreck show? So you're gonna look at it and you're gonna see that you have that first row of beads, which is a 10. And then you've got some ones on the next row. So for this one, we have 10 and two more. So what is that teen number? See where it's blinking here? That's where I'm going to put it in. What is it? 12. So I need a one for the 10 and two for the ones. Now here's where it's going to challenge you a little bit. What is one more than that number? I want you to think, what is this number if there's one more one? My 10 here is not going to change but my one's place is. Think if I were to slide one more bead over here, what would my new number be? 13. Very nice. We'll submit that one. Let's try another one. Look at the number shown by our Rick and Rick now. It's all the numbers at the top, which is a full 10. We don't have any on the second. So what number are we starting with? we see a 10, no ones. However, what is one more than that number? Well, what comes after 10? If we were to slide one bead over here and add it onto that 10, what would our new number be? 11, that is two ones, very nice. Let's do one more together. This time, what number does the Wreck and Wreck show? Look at your 10, here's your ones. What is that number? 
13. A one and a three. So now what is one more than that number? You can probably spit that out really quickly, but picture it in your mind. You would need one more bead here in the picture. And it would be 14. So smart, so smart. I'll let it go from there um, so that you can do the boom cards on your own. Um, and I want you to just think back to our wreck and wreck here and the practice that we just did and the kinds of practice that we've done with this really neat tool at school. Cool cats, I want you to work really hard for me today.